Ahoy everyone and welcome to the Catacomb Abyss. This was a game on the old DOS PC. Now I've been told I have to push F2 and 2. There we go. To enable sounds. What's ad libbed audio? Let's keep it on PC speakers. There we are. Now, there's not much sound in this, there's no background music, it's mostly just the sound of the uh, magic. Oh, what? Oh, so this came well before Resident Evil, so that's why the zombies look a bit uh, odd looking. But yeah, this is a classic DOS game I had on my on our family uh, PC when I was a kid. So yeah. So these files are health, and you use them by pressing spacebar, if I remember correctly. Uh, the, you have to get the coloured keys to open different coloured doors. Um, I don't know what the uh, what the orbs, like the three and the four orbs are. I believe there's something to do with magic, but I could be wrong. Oh, now, just like Wolfenstein, when you take damage, your little avatar takes damage, which is always cool. You destroy uh, walls to get into secret areas. Now, as soon as I pick this up, yeah, there you go, see? Now, the cool thing about this is down the bottom it tells you exactly what's happening. I don't know if that was just laziness or, you know, intuitive. The gravedigger keeps the key to his garden with his pet bats. Okay, so guess what we gotta do? Oh, here comes the bat. And a zombie. Oh, jeez, I wish I could aim. I remember the aiming being a little bit better than that. <laughs> right. They pop up on you everywhere. Shinbone Alley. I like how it tells you where you are too. That's that's clever. Don't miss. Don't miss the oh something something's hitting me. Yeah, see I restored my said so don't miss it. something's hitting me still. What is it? It's a bat. So what you gotta do is run away. I think I got them all. See? Game's not as easy as it looks, so I'm looking for a purple gem. So, oh look, another door. Yeah, there we go. Get out of the base. Okay. Turn around quickly. Hola. Oh. Magic missile, magic missile, magic missile. I now realise uh, now that something I didn't realise when I was a kid is that you know whoever made this was a massive Dungeons and Dragons fan. Magic missile, the keys, the potion, the mage. It's all D and D. Very D. &D. Oh, sugar, sugar. See. So survival, this was one of the first survival horror games. So, it's very clever in that respect. So it says I'm missing a purple gem. I assume I got it. Could be wrong. Bats. I hate bats. We can't stop here, this is backcountry. Use the green key. Oh, all the bats. All the bats. Storage. Grave digger storage. Alright, so we're looking for a key, I believe. There we go, blue key. Just make sure the grave digger doesn't pop up here. Ankle deep in guano. <laughs> uh, 
Now, if anyone's a fan of Ace Ventura, you'll know what that means. Memory lanes. Alright, so I reckon we're pretty good here, so Pauper's Gravesite. So I'm just going to navigate to get out of here, if I can. Alright. It says Purple Gem, but I, I don't think I need it, if I remember this game well enough. It's pretty much just get the keys and leave. There we go. He wanted some and he got it. Ah. I think if you walk in, the mausoleum lies beyond the garden to the east. Oh, sure. Came out of nowhere. Uh, what have we got? There's something coming after me here. Never eat, so east is this way. Oh. Was that the grave digger and he just decided to come out now? Right. I think I've nearly finished this level. Um, I think I'm gonna get into the door. There was a door around here somewhere. Oh, that's, uh, that's the entrance, okay. So I don't know if you can hear it, but the <laughs> besides the only sound effect that's constant is the walking. It's just pit pat, pit pat on the ground. So here we go. And yes, the Garden of Tears. So this is the next level, basically. And here we go. Starting straight away. Now that thing, that, that thing and this thing, you have to eventually fight. I'm sure there's a way to use those, use bigger pa powers, but I, I just don't remember. So. As you go on in the level, uh, you get, uh, sorry, as you go on in the game, you get, uh, you get more and more enemies. Okay. You get a variety of enemies, so it's not just the zombie and the bat. Otherwise, that would be oh, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil, literally speak of the devil. So, it's a very claustrophobic feeling. As you walk through uh, the hedges and the the maze, very close. Someone hit me. It's a bat. I think I got it. Now, the sad thing here is you can actually destroy pickups, which is really uh, really depressing. Especially if you're like in need of health or something, and. Um, you accidentally blow it up with your magic missile. So, oh, oh that was convenient. Be gone. Be gone, devils. I see you, Mr. Zombie. So, uh oh. Look at this water up here. Come on. That all is? Good lord, that's a lot of zombies. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. Oh, something's behind me. Zombie. A garden of tears to expose your fears. Okay. It's nice, it rhymes. I assume this is the 
need a register. And I used a help motion, which probably wasn't that bad. So we're looking for a red the field of size. That's where I'm from. So just trying to trigger the back wall. See, I just destroyed that uh, treasure chest by magic missiling it. Something's hit me from behind. Oh shit, something's hit me from behind. Don't these people know about social distancing? Alrighty. See what I mean? They just jump up on you. No warning. No hello, no nothing. Alright, well there's... I'm gonna get that health. Definitely need that. Oh, Just no respect. No respect. They tell you to have respect for the dead, but the dead don't respect me. So that's the entrance. This is the way I came. So it's a bit like a maze. It can be a bit uh, confusing at times. Well, I'm going to go this way. And I'm probably going to go this way. Oh, yellow key. That, see that? Take a hike. Just make sure there's no pop ups here. I assume that you can. Uh, oh, here we go. Watch them all pop out now. Get out of a chief. So that's the. So this is the third level. All right. So we're at the mausole uh, mausoleum grounds. Mausoleum. <laughs> Tea with mausoleum. Okay. Now watch your flanks because oh, that's nice. Takes an hour to turn around this game. Oh, he's trapped behind the bubble. Oh, sugar, 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 sugar. Well, just for being, just because your friends are nasty, I'm not going to free you, so you can stay there. There you go, a bit of health. Uh, oh. There's happiness. No other surprises here. Oh, oh, oh. Leave me alone. I did nothing to you. This game's kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. There's something scary about just, you know, complete silence and then just being attacked. Oh! 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 Well, if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get! When are you going to run out and fall apart? I actually don't know if I actually made it this far when I was a kid. I know I played the first level and maybe the second, but I don't know about this one. It was a long time ago, but I do not remember a skeleton from Jason and the Argonauts. Oh! Let him have it! And I think there's another one coming to- yep. Yeah. 
Is he dead? Did he die? Yes, he died. Okay. Got that. Oh, another one! Another two! Another three! Four! Pile of bones here. <laughs> Could almost build a uh, T Rex skeleton or something out of it. Okay. Any more surprises? I got the key? Yeah, I got the key. Good. Forgotten mustard corridors. <laughs> well, if I had to hang around there, I'd be pretty angry too. Alrighty then. Um. Guess we'll go down not that way, because that's a dead end. That's the way we gotta go. Yep. What's it say? Dedicated to Nemesis and his great evil. See? They give that guy a dedication, but me, I get nothing. Oh. Even though I have to kill all these skeletons. Zombies. Might be an odd thing to mention, but I find it strange that the zombies, you know, have no weapons, but the skeletons are all decked out. You know, couldn't they share the weapons or something? This is a nice long hallway. What's going to happen here? Something behind me? Yeah, of course. Well, it wouldn't be Catacombs Abyss if something didn't pop out behind me. Check my flank. Okay. Oh, red key. Nothing? We good? Everyone happy? Everyone gonna jump out at me or anything? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Did I need a red key for that door? Oh, cool. from Killer Instinct. Alright, um, let me just... Oh, get out of it. Well, that's something else behind me now. See what I mean? Three zombies. If he'd stop moonwalking. trying to say uh, Mussolini so that's uh, that explains that sort of not really um, I think I go this way ah there we go beautiful let's get out of here and that's another level down the main floor of the mausoleum mausoleum now, here we go, this is looking a bit more like, uh, Wolfenstein. <laughs> Don't spook me. Look at this guy. Oh. What a 
of baddies here. Just hang here for a second while they all uh, slowly creep up on me. What the heck? Hey man, you right there or what? Oh, go back, go back. I am the ghost of Samuel Arrow. <laughs> Boogie. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I keep destroying everything. It was a dark and stormy night. You know. Should be a mission to destroy this guy's paintings. That would really upset him. But man, you. I'm looking a bit uh, worse for wears there. That's not a secret passage. Ah. Oh my lord, look at them all! Sugar honey iced tea. Wow, I actually managed to pick something out without destroying it. Oh, he's still going. He was a fighter. something for once. Imagine living in this room, just looking at yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a limb and say, Nemesis is a very vain guy. <laughs> Maybe they were mimics. Maybe they were uh, killer treasure chests. In the place of the enchanted cubes. Well, this is just a whole lot of nothing. Oh! Where'd you come from, Ace? Oh, health. Do I dare? Yeah, I dare. Something happened. This is a big wide open area. And there's literally nothing here, apparently.
Oh well. Back we go. Did a deer. And that's the end of that level. The Crypt of Nemesis the Undead. So I'm assuming this is the last level. Oh, sure. Sail away with me to another shore. The sacrificial altar holds the key to the region below the crypt. Okay. Good safety tip there, Egon. Nobody. Oh no. It's the Oh my lord. It's the boogaloo. Get out of there. Up here. Look at me. <laughs> I think the damage effect looks better in this than it does in Doom or Wolfenstein. It's just kind of. I need a red key. Okay, I get it, red key. So, red key. Oh my God. Any of them. I'm sure there's a way to use those power ups. I'm sure there is. Oh, oh of course. And I destroyed both my potions. <laughs> or at least one of them. Well, that's nice. There's the treasure chest. And another one. <laughs> Drinking game. Drink every time I destroy a treasure chest. Um. Uh -oh. That doesn't sound healthy. Tap, 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 tap. I do not know what that noise is, but. That guy. Mm, interesting. Well, I suppose we go this way. Kill all the skeletons. 
I'm not sure I'm gonna need that health. Um, oh. Come the boys. Meditation chamber. Nothing bad here, so I guess we can move on. Tip, tap, tip, tap, tip, tap. Anyone in here? Oh! Another treasure chest, have a drink. I actually never got up to fight Nemesis when I was a kid. Skeletons are really beefy. Get back here. Oh my, oh my lord. Look what I under. Key. A bloody mess. Let's get out of here. Uh, under fight nemesis. I'd, I've never done this before. So this is going to be new for everyone. Do I just circle around? Meditation chamber. So this way. Is this right? Um, yeah. Uh, and then I think I'll go this way. Alright, here we go, fighting Nemesis. This is new for all of us. End of the level. The den of zombies. Okay, I don't think we're fighting Nemesis. Which is unfortunate. So. I think that's going to about do it for this uh, playthrough. This is a cool word. Oh, wow. Dude actually came out of the wall. That was cool. So yeah, I think I'll leave it there. Um, but yeah, this game's pretty cool. So, until next time.